Please tell me you're not making more curtains. Nope. Right, it's starting to sparkle now. Here we are. So it's literally down a tiny little street and it's this place here. Oh, what's I'm, not, I'm not joking, that's how we did it. I'm tired, man. No, and that's just cream, it's plain. Oh God, it's not gonna be thorough gate now, is it? After curtain oh, gate. I bet it will, it will be. Good morning, welcome to a new vlog. Oh, good afternoon, wherever it is, it's good morning for us. Um, I just need to take those off because I've been editing. Um, Nick, I'm just editing and Nick goes, look at that. So I'll just show you what he's on about. If you saw yesterday's vlog or the day before's vlog, um, the last vlog, we bought this amazing a bucket. tub of... I christened it. I had to, to dig it out and eat Peanut it. butter. Oh, you put your finger in no. it? Oh, thank goodness. Did it it looks knife. like a finger. Well, it's knife. So I got this from Which Morrison's because it was on um, offer. Crunchy peanut butter, whole earth. It was um, £5.50 for that massive thing. And um, as you may know, if you watch our vlogs, I uh, love peanut butter. So uh, Nick's just making some toast. Please tell me you're not making more curtains. Nope, it's not. What are you, do hey, what are you doing? I need the white bit from the duvet that I'm binning. Yeah, for? So, when we do the fly screen in the door, I'm gonna order some magnets from Amazon and put, the fly, put this sheet on the outside of the door and stick it on the outside frame, then slam the door shut, which will then create a tight band this is my theory, inside the van. Well, it's not your theory. Somebody helped you with this. So don't, don't pretend you made kind it on yourself. Of, kind of, yeah. But the door runners, it's not gonna work with the door runners. So he suggested getting the magnets. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put this on, but the, um, the guy at Tamdor recommended doing um, black boot polish around the inside. I don't fancy that because white curtains, black, it's gonna happen. So, the plan will be is to create like a balloon and shut the door into it and then on the inside draw a black mark around and then extend the border by about an inch for the rubbers and then cut the fly net to that size when it turns up. So before we pin these, I just realised I need this bit so I'm just going to take off the, um, the white bit. Right, I've finished editing for the day, so I'm gonna go and get ready while Nick does that. If you're new around here, thanks for joining us. My name's Lee. This is Nick on the floor doing um, curtain work. I'm not doing curtains. We spend most of our time in a lodge here on the east coast of England. It, yesterday was a beautiful day, and we were like, oh, it's so nice that the sun's back out and it feels like spring. And, Today's normal. And, and it was put us in such a good mood. And today, it looks like this. Grim. Grim and, and grey and horrible, but it's not going to stop us. We're still going to get out and do our 10,000 steps. Uh -huh. Here we are. Can you hold the back on me? We have 10,000 steps to do. Yesterday, I ended up doing 16,000 steps. Yeah, because you were walking around a lodge like a polar bear in a zoo. Only from the last 100, because I knew we were almost at 16,000. We finished yesterday's vlog. Um, at 11,000, then I went on treadmill and watched a couple of vlogs and got up to 16,000. And, uh, well, I got up to 15,000, uh, 800 and I'm like, oh, I'm almost at 16,000, so I just walked around Lodge for a bit. So uh, I'm gonna leave you to this. You can't, I need you to hold the other piece. I've got one edge to do. And then- This might not work because of the door runners, like I said. I'm gonna go and get ready for the day and right. I'll have some more ironing to do today. Those, those are your tops, by the way, you can put them away. I'm not doing it now. Well, I know that, I'm just saying. Right, let's get this sorted and then I'll get ready. Right, that should now give me a big... Moment! Still tapping the buttons. Should give me a big white sheet. Yeah. To help us do the door bit. I doubt this is going to work because it's a bit too flimsy, but all this now can go to the Where are we going to try that then? Uh, when the door comes, I've actually had to order it from Amazon. You USA. mean the fly screen? We've ordered a fly screen for our camper van, which we've spent the last six months converting into a camper van. We bought a VW Crafter. The, probably, the problem we've got, the door shape has got more curves than Beyonce's ass. Well, don't, I'm not so, talking about curtains. But the, um, no, I'm not talking about curtains, I'm talking about the, uh, the door. The problem is, the blind that's coming is square, the door is all curvy. So we'll have a look at that today, let's try and make a silhouette. Look at the state of this hob. We need meaning to do it for a couple of days and just not got round to it, so I'm going to start getting some of the uh, grounding dirt off. 
yes, we're filthy buggers when it comes to this hob. And um, I'll come back to you when I finished it. Nick's just vacuuming in the uh, bedrooms. And uh, I'll crack on with this. I'm bringing in the Wilco stainless steel cleaner next. And then I'll leave it for Nick to get the baby oil on because he loves getting the baby oil on the hob to make it all gleaming. Stainless steel cleaner for now. Right, it's starting to sparkle now. A what? little bit. What? It's starting to sparkle and um, the finishing touches you can are... You knobs off. Oh, well then. Because I can't get the oil. A little bit of baby oil and it just makes it gleam, doesn't it? it basically, it fills the pits on the scratches. If you've got scratches, it just fills Which them. we have. It's a lot easier to clean an electric hob, isn't it, at the apartment? Yeah. It takes two seconds. There, now it's starting to gleam, look. Yeah. While Nick's doing that, I shall just clean the sink. Cleaned it a little bit, but I'm just going to put some... Um, a bit of fabulosa in, what we got at the minute. Um, fantabulosa. See if I can do it one handed. No, I can't. Just undo that for me. Ah, I've got Undo that for me. <laughs> bit of water. Put those cloths and stuff in. Bit of fabulosa. Oh, for fix sake. And just leave that in. Right, that's our Mrs. Hinch done for now. What? Mrs. Hinch cleaning done for now. Um, we are heading out. We've got a right to do list on this van still. Um, I can't go near it though. I'll put a picture of it on screen now, which Nick has put together. Um, well, we can do a couple of bits, can't we? We're going to go out. The bits that are indented, they're in progress. Yeah, we need a cable tidy for the electric cable, which is going to be in the garage on our, our camper van I'm talking about. And um, at the minute the electric cable is just sort of like thrown in the back of the garage. So we're gonna go up to Yorkshire Caravan, somewhere or other is it? Where, where we, we hide Taylor Where one. we hide Taylor from. Um, Yorkshire Caravan Supplies I think it's called. And we are going to see if they do a cable tidy. If, if not, not, we've seen one on Amazon, but we thought we might as well just look there as we're out and about. And then um, we're gonna get our 10,000 steps in. Look, um, looking forward to that? We'll see. Right, we're on our way to the camping shop. Hopefully we can get this real. Um, and I've just said to Lee, there's no way I'm walking in this. It looks like it's going to chuck it down. It's grey and misty and almost foggy as well in the distance. You can't even see the uh, the cliff tops, and we're driving at the side of them. You won't melt. I don't like horrible weather, thanks. I've had, we just got a picture on uh, from our friend Kerry on Disco back home. Blue sunny skies, looks like she's on holiday. And we're in this. Well, I wonder if this is a sea threat, you know. Maybe. Might be, you know. I don't know, but... Um... It's anyway, a well, first, it's a shame there's not uh, yeah, a coffee shop at this caravan place. They do have a coffee machine. They have. Um, but I don't fancy coffee They've machine. got that coffee place further down, that Abbey's Diner. Mm -hmm. Could get a coffee there. Mm -hmm. And a toaster current. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Taylor One still for sale, if anybody's interested. There she is. 32 grand for a big swift caravan. Never fancied towing a caravan though. There we go. They're for hoses. Are they? I think so. Uh, oh no, mains cable reel. Oh, there we go then. That's not bad. Thirteen pound. What's that? I can probably fit that to a door. So you hold it there and then yeah, you wind it like so that. So you either have one of them or have a mains cable bag. Uh, no, I don't want a bag because it's still going to get tangled, isn't it? Mm -hmm. At least this, you wind it onto it. But will twenty-five meters fit on that though? Does it not say? No. I'll have to ask. No. Keeping an Amazon though. Mm -hmm. Right, so two things came out of that trip. Um, neither of them was a, uh, a hose reel, a, a, a reel, although we did look at one and it was quite sturdy. We found it on Amazon cheaper than in there, actually. The one that I got in my basket on Amazon was about five quid more. Um, so I thought that was cheaper, but it did fit a 25 meter because we found the exact model online. So I've ordered that, that were 11 quid, that's coming tomorrow. Uh, the other thing as well while we were in there is ever since we've put the um, wastewater tank in, I fitted a water butt tap onto it where the opening is very narrow. And I'm concerned, uh, after reading various sort of groups and forums, that food bits from the sink and um, like hairs and all that kind of stuff, all the, all the stuff that goes into grey water is going to end up blocking the end of that tap. 
So before we end up going on our journey, I need to put the correct tap on it, which is a wastewater gray, a gray tank tap. Uh, now they had them in there, but they weren't three quarter inch threaded. So, and I can get them on Amazon, but the lady in there told us about a place called O'Leary's Motorhomes in Woodmancy in Beverly. Um, which is apparently a treasure trove of motorhome parts and things like that all second-hand stuff as well as some new stuff So we're gonna head down there have a look see if we can find um, a tap rather than me order it off eBay because Amazon don't sell them for some strange reason uh, If not, I can order it off eBay um, And then before we go on our travels I just need to get under the van and put my hand into the maintenance hatch and remove the one that we fitted and put the new one on, on there Fingers crossed this one that I'm gonna get now will do the job Right, we're two minutes away so normally when we come down here, we go to Woodminton Garden Centre, which is just over here. Uh, we may end up still going there, actually. Uh, although Lee wants to go to Morrison's to get another potato salad, don't you? It's very nice yesterday, although I could do with a coffee, because I woke up at 4.55am, and I'm a wide awake, and I looked at my phone, and I couldn't get back to sleep, so I feel bug-eyed today. Any excuse. Uh, so anyway, it's just down here on the right-hand side. It's called O'Leary's Motorhomes. Apparently, like I said, it's like supposed to be like an Aladdin's cave. Never been before. We've looked on the website, and it, they do sell, literally dismantled parts from motorhomes so hopefully we can get what we need here we are so it's literally down a tiny little street and it's this place here oh there is motorhome and sales repairs let's go in and have a look stockist of most caravan parts is it a big place let's have a look mm, yeah, quite biggish they didn't have what we needed unfortunately look at the awning oh the awning yeah that would fit nicely on the roof wouldn't it Fail awning. Well, we have talked about an awning, but we've always thought it would be too heavy for the van. But we don't know oh, until we be. have the final weighing. Um, we were glad, we, we weren't sure if they were going to have one. We could have called ahead and come down, but we wanted to have a look there because we've been told about that place a few times. So we just thought, we'll, we'll come down and have a look. And uh, unfortunately, they, don't have, they didn't have what we wanted. But it was like an Aladdin's cave of everything. You know, lots of different parts and bolts and nuts and all sorts of stuff. It was one of those places though that you need to know exactly what you wanted yeah. because they knew where it was. It wasn't displayed. It wasn't really a browsing place, was no. it? Because everything They did have was... some bits and bats. But... And they did have some new stuff as well. Like they had Max Air fans and, and our Skylight as well. So yeah. if ever our Skylight cracks, we can go and get a replacement there. It was like a bit like TK Maxx. You could go browse if you wanted to dig around. Yeah. But it wasn't like a shop. Like a... His waste taps were in a... Were in a plastic storage bin and in the in the bin there was like a hundred different types of taps that had come off different motorhomes but mm -hmm. they didn't have the one that I wanted he says he says they used to use what we had years ago what do you mean with the screw nut on it we need a oh. three-quarter inch nut on the back to put in through the through the hole that I've put in mm -hmm. but oh well are we off a coffee yes and very handily just down the street. This is the real reason we came down. <laughs> Woodmancy Garden Centre. Not the camping shop. And restaurant. Might as well have a coffee as we're close, see if it'll perk me up. Anybody would think we'd planned it. So the last vlog that you guys saw was actually yesterday. And isn't, it, isn't it amazing how you can have one day, well, it was sunny and blue sky, but that was, and I was chipper and upbeat and full of energy. And then today I'm just like, oh. I feel like I've been dug up. I could tell. The minute he opened his eyes this morning, I said to him, what's the matter? <laughs> it's because- And he like went, said, I'm tired. <laughs> I woke that's up. Not, I'm not joking, that's how he did it. <laughs> I'm tired. I woke up and I, I had the alarm set for 7 a.m. That's why. I woke, no, well, I woke up at, and I thought, oh, I'm awake. Looked at my phone, it was 4.55. And you know when your head just feels like a mush, like there's no way you're gonna get back to sleep, even though you're dog tired. And I just thought, oh no. And but I'm you not, went back to sleep. And I thought, I'm not getting up at seven, so I cancelled my alarm. I've been getting up at like half six and seven to do some editing. And I cancelled the alarm, we managed to get back to sleep, but I've just felt like I've not been able to wake up so far today. So let's go get a strong coffee. We're just having a coffee or we're going to get a snack? There's a dog shit in the woods. If anybody's got any recommendations of a new book that I need to read, please let me know in the comments below. I'm, I am reading something at the minute. Um, I just want like... Stuff like this, to be fair. Yeah, I found you one. No, I'm not gonna... Seaside Girls, no thanks. The Cornish Village School, second year. I'm reading something um, that's completely like, a, like this kind of thing, where you don't really have to think too much, you just read it. Um, although I do like, you know, other kind of books as well. So if you've got any, uh, like, stuff like that, anything that you think I might like to read, let me know. We are going to get some cheese, just going to the top of the um, Wensleydale. the uh, tomato soup, which we're still having tonight. So. Wensleydale and black cracked pepper. Oh my god, that looks like fudge. Yeah, it does. 
what the hell is it? Jitos. Oh, that looks good as well. Mushrooms quiche. Ooh, maybe we'll have that for his dinner. I'm hoping this does the trick and wakes me up. You didn't get decaf, did you? Well, no, I just had for a coffee. So uh, hopefully not. This is very different to a Morrison salad for lunch. Salad there. Bit of salad, bit of sour cream. We saw that quiche and, and we thought, yeah. we thought we're going to have to have that quiche. So we've got the quiche, bit of salad, crisps, nice looking chips. Mm, and, delicious. and what are you doing? I just ordered the uh, water tank um, thing. That I'll show you what it looks like actually. Um, no, I won't. Oh, nice chip there. So that's what we need. So when it turns up, I've got to get my hand in the maintenance hatch, on my back, under the van, pull the old tap off, clean it up, put that on and then reseal. Had we not got that thing from Etsy at the apartment on the wall, I think these would have looked good. Although there aren't two, we'd probably need a third one. It was uh, very hard to find somewhere, something for that wall, but I think they would have looked good, don't you, Nick? I like the lion one. You're missing a third one. I know. Yeah. What do you mean? Also missing the, oh, I don't think they're bad. You could lose two of them. I don't think they're that bad price, to be fair, for the size of them. They're massive. Not as much as the one we got. Oh, that's my hand, you can see how big they are. The two kings of the jungle. Right, Lee's just gone to spend a penny, and I just thought I would talk to you guys about why. Well, it's not it's a question really, and I'm hoping some people that, that work in the catering industry can answer this, but when in the UK you go into a restaurant or a cafe and they have breakfast menus, why do they have a cut-off point of like 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock? It's still all the same ingredients in the kitchen. You have bacon on, on sandwiches, you have egg in other dishes, and it, it, everything that you have on the normal menu is on the breakfast menu. So why do they refuse to serve the menu items on the breakfast menu or re uh, and refuse to serve it after 12 o'clock or after the cut-off time? Even toast of current tea cakes here, which is just toast, which is on the normal menu, but because it's got currants in it, they won't serve it. It's really infuriating. You can go to America and you can have all-day breakfast and things like that, but here in the UK, for some reason, cafes and catering places seem to be a bit anal about not serving breakfast items after a certain time. Why? Is there a certain rule? Is there like a... Is it something to do with food hygiene? I don't know. It's just quite infuriating and obviously you guys, if you if you work in that kind of industry, you might have the answer. If you do, drop us a comment below. I'm going to get these for my mum to put in her Mother's Day bag. Grandma Wilde's shortbread biscuits and uh, just looking at books again. So. I if you um, recommend recommending me any books, I do like stuff like this as well, like leadership stuff and uh, gladiator mindset. I love kind of you know motivational books like that as well. But I am in the in the market for just uh, fiction books at the minute because I I just need a new one. Oh, they've got some brack here. Well, we are getting Wensleydale stem ginger brack, uh, Yorkshire brack, yeah. ginger brack, and then these are these are basically bracks as well. Yeah. Uh, or ginger parking. Oh my god. I'm gonna take a picture of this one and send it to Lisa and Aid. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Apple and cinnamon cake as well. Fruit ginger. Mmm. This looks like nice crunchy peanut butter. Paper nut. Never heard of it. Looks good though. I think that coffee definitely helps perk me up. I feel like I'm awake now. What makes you think that? The singing? Well, yeah, I'm singing to Jordan Davis, next thing we know. Um, my favourite country singer. Um, along with Cole Swindle as well. Cole's my favourite. Cole Swindle is Nick's favourite. And um, it has perked me up though now, I think. But this weather hasn't per perked us up. We're kind of thinking it might be a sea threat. Well, it's very... It's, it's it, very... I don't um, think it is because your mum's got it. Well, that's true. She's and got a bit of fog. It's way inland. I mean, there might be a mix of sea fret yeah, and normal weather here. Yeah, it's very foggy. Um, so we're going to head back and it's going to have a look at doing some things on the van, which I'll show you when we get back. Um, some things to do with the door because we've got to figure out how to keep the back doors open. We took the supports off. Yeah, we took the supports off to put all the panelling on it, everything like that. Because the struts go inside the wall when you shut yeah. it. And they can't now because we've got a gas bottle there and all the electrics. Yeah. And one of the doors, the left, the right hand door, if you're looking at the van from the back, is very stiff and that stays open. The one on the left is quite not stiff and it just blows all over the place. So um, There is a fix for it, but it means drilling the hinge seal. Yeah. and then squirting some lubricant inside it. We did get some like what them things like hooks for them Hook which worked really well but I kept forgetting they were there and I kept closing the door and it was cracking then, them and bending them and all sorts of stuff so we need something better than that. Right we're back and we've picked this up a delivery uh, dynamic parts quality car spares I'll show you what it is now. Nick's already unpacked it and he is looking at it around here so that's it. That's the replacement. The replacement bumper for here. 
So it didn't come with these, so I'm going to have to clean them off with a um, bit of sandpaper and then paint them black with the um, the Winder Tiger paint. So that's the old the one, which is why you can see we want to get rid I'm of it. I'm just about to pull it off now. <laughs> this is your bit! <laughs> that is gross. Absolutely oh. gross. Oh, yeah. that's probably, well, that'll have been on there for 20 years. Well, yeah, probably. Well, is the van 20 years old? Well, not not quite, but... God, look at this. Oh, now you're going to get that. You have to wash that it's brush mud. afterwards. It's mud. Oh, my God. It's wet and all. I don't know why it's wet. This is actually soil and mud. Mm -hmm. Weird. A bit concerning that there's moisture inside. Look at nails here, rusty nails. Oh, jeez. You want to take over this bit? No, I can do. Why? Is it freaking you out or something? No, but I don't like that sludge. Right. Look at that. Right, you take I'm, over. I somewhere to put it. I'll give you some ideas. Oh yeah, open your gob. <clears throat> I used a kitchen knife. I've actually bent the end, but never mind. So this is, this is the rubber seals from the door. We may have to pull them off and then check them and get the mud out, but there's bits of nails and things like that in all this. And look at that there. It's like sawdust. Mm -hmm. Wet sawdust. It's going to take us a while. This. I'm concerned why it's damp. Mm. Well, well, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I mean, obviously, if moisture gets under there when the doors are open. Ooh. I'm going to need more than a brush and put it. It's like slop dub. Look at that. And put it in there. Definitely think we need to peel this off and give it a good rinse with a hose pipe. But you need to get all the debris out first. The nails and stuff. It's got the hose on it. Right, what I need to do... It's looking better. We need to rinse the inside of this rubber because the sludge inside and that's what's stopping it from going down on the metal trim properly. Probably why there's water getting in, perhaps, I don't know. You see there, it's, it's bulged because mm. it's, been on, it's been on the van with crap inside the rubbers. All this rubber just needs to be cleaned off as well. But before we do that, we need to get all the, look all the underneath and all, full of paint. Need to clean all this down fully first. Right, that's the best we can do. So there are some rust patches which are going to need sanding down and then spraying with some primer to seal it, um, especially around here. So we might have to take these off and then give it a good spray and then put it back on. Can't do that today. Lee's just gone to get something to dry the metal work because we don't want any more rust forming and then I'm going to put the seal back on um, which is probably the first time it's been on in years without any gunk underneath it because it's all been rinsed out now and then this piece what we'll do is we'll wait until the wrap's done and then put that on when it's finished because we're still going to need to do this bumper as well and I don't fancy getting um, silver primer paint on the brand new bumper and I have to take these in clean the tips of these off um, I don't know how I'm going to do that, probably sandpaper, just get some off. Clean them up and then um, spray them black and then they will fit nicely in the brand new trim when the, uh, the wrap's done. So for now, there's nothing more I can do. That can go in the bin, obviously. Right, that's looking a lot cleaner. Just need to get this treated when it's all dried. You can see where it's starting to rust. I'll need sanding down and then fully spraying. We'll have to do that in another day when the uh, before that finally goes back on. I've put the rubber strip back on. We'll rinse this before we're finished. The next job now is to fit these back on again now. And we have a dilemma. So these things fit to the door. Could do with spraying them actually. So these things here fit. I don't know which way. The this way or that way. Or maybe that way, I don't know. So for a start, you can see that this thing's in the way. So I think it's, I think it's that way. Maybe, I don't know, but anyway, the other end of this fits onto the door behind this. We have to take this panel off. And then the problem you've got is when the door's open, uh, if you just fold the door shut slightly, and then come around this side and I'll show you. So this is the problem we've got. When that's fitted to there, as the door shuts, this goes, it runs over this here, 
and kind of goes in through that hole. We can't have it doing that, no. so we'll just rip all the electric wires out. On this side, they're in the hole, it's going to hit the tank. So my thoughts are, we take the spring out of here and we just fold these back. So when they're on the door like that, they just sit on the door folded backwards. And if we want to use them, we just fold them out and click them on. Mm. Yeah, and that'll mm. keep the doors open. Mm. We've just got to remember that if we do shut the door, it will jump off this track and try to go in there. But I think it will hit the wall before it does that anyway. So we need to take this panel off, which I think is going to be very difficult. And then we've got to fit this on. And I can't remember which way around it goes. So uh, that'll be the first task, task, figuring that out. So if you put it on like that, I don't know how it's going to work. I think that goes in there and mm. locks in. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yep. And if you push this or you lift this or whatever, it lifts it out, I think. So the first thing first is to get those panels off the you door. You can see that door's just closing on its own, which yep. is uh, yep, this a one's pain. Result, but apparently if you, if you drill into that hinge, it's yeah. so WD-40, it breaks the seal in the hinge and makes the door really loose. Well, to be fair, it being stiff is a good thing. Yeah, but it will actually get worse to the point where you can't shut it. Careful. Careful what? It would sound like it was splintering. This one's going to be hard. Yep, I thought so. Ah, what? Shite. What? Ah, he's Where's... put that. Oh, that's the that's the deadlock bracket, and there's a screw behind it. Oh. That's a problem. The screw head's there, yeah. and he's, that's on rivets. There's no way that's coming off. Yeah. Shit. Got to work out what holes are where, what it looks like. So we've got one. Three holes there for them three there. So I need to get that on there, but somehow drill through this. Do you know? Do you know what I mean? Sure, this is going to work before we cut holes in the door. I won't cut holes. I'll drill holes through. Trust me. I think this is it. <sighs> Did it line up? Frig. Nope. Mm. It's miles off. I mean, the easy thing to do is just to cut a chunk out. <laughs> That's neat. neat. <laughs> right. So, that goes on there, as if it's never come off. And then, you need to decide whether you want to have it on there, and then the spring disconnected, and I want somehow it. fastened back. I want it so that there's no chance of ever there's smashing onto that. that. There's always going to be I a chance like for that. I don't like that. You know I've done it before. Yeah, but I can... We can't be in the middle of Europe and I smash all electrics. I'm sure you will. Well, exactly, so don't do it. Well, what choice do I have? I don't know. Well, you need to decide. Just, you need to think of something spring else. Spring on, spring off. Whatever's the, the... Where there's no risk of smashing things. Yeah, but there's always going to be a risk. I can't make it... No, I can't make I it leak-proof. I don't know. Uh, need to open it a little bit more because it's already... Found the right screws. 
No, we haven't. No, not that one, though. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's going in. Yeah, it's because it's not in the right setting, that's why. Right, so, there you go. That works. The problem we've got now, just pull the door to some of the camera. So, you can see, first of all, there's the big earthing cable that earths the battery. Right, it goes over that, and if you shut it, it hits that panel of wood. Which is fine in theory, and until the, one day the door's we not shut. and we like slam it too. So, what you have to do is open the door slightly, lift that off, shut the door, and then let it rest on the wires like that, which I don't like the idea of. But if I pull the spring out, I can just put some kind of hook there. So this is manually operated. So if you want to hook the door past, you've got to hook it on there. I think that's probably going to be the best thing, isn't it? Take the, take the hook, take the spring out. Right, so I've disconnected the spring, so it's loose. So it'll still work like that. But when you want to close the door, you have to pull it to, lift it, don't keep shutting, and then just fold it back like that. And I'll just put maybe like a tie on there just to hold it in place so it doesn't rattle against the door when we're driving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. So that fixes that issue. Right, just open it up. There we go, like that. Right, let me put that paneling back on. Right, so what I've done, these hinges, they're pins down the middle, but there are rubber seals in the top and the bottom, so no air or oil can get inside them. So no matter how much lubricant you squirt on them, you can't actually um, oil it. So what I've done is I've drilled a hole through the barrel and just, Ooh, you can see all the crap coming out, look. Just put some WD-40 inside, and already... It, looser. It's looser's out. You just need to keep working it. Can't I don't want to do the other, the other hinge. Right, you saw how stiff it was before. Much better. Much better. Be careful as you... Th I just need to watch the black. Got to be careful of that. Out. I can just see this is a disaster waiting to be hap to happen. This, but we'll find out in due to course. Due to course. Due course. We'll find out. Right, finished. I've just tied it up, and I've put some little Velcro straps on here, so we can loosen them. And I've put a little pad on the back, so when they clank against that when we're driving, we won't hear it. So just put these Velcro. This Velcro has been the most versatile used bit of things that I've ordered from Amazon so just wrap them up like that I've done the same on that side there exactly the same and when the door shuts now these won't shift and they have to be manually hooked onto there um, so we just got to remember to do it there's a lot of paintwork now that needs touching up because there's fingerprints on it and uh, this bottom step that one's going to go to the bin we're going to leave this one off for it to fully dry and the water to come out and then we need to sand and prime the rust before the new one goes in, but we'll do that after the wrap's done. The other one's up there and it can just stay up there for now. I'm just uh, tidying up and then I'm off in. Need to get that back in now and uh, we're sorted. One other thing that I forgot to film is the little hole that I had to drill the relief um, hole in the hinge. I just put some sealant in there just to stop water from getting in it. But if it does, I just to get some lubricant and squirt it in, some WD-40 or some grease, something like that, and it should keep that sealed. Because this thing is going to be wrapped at some point when it goes into, um, the guy's in hull. Right, time to lock up. I don't like this on my worktops. Oh, don't you? Um, so, Nick's doing that, trying to clean whatever these are. They were easy. This is going to be a nightmare. You can see I've blown a little square, but I think 15 minutes now. I'm going to soak them in turfs, actually. Oh, we're just going to set same. You know what it is? No. Can you find it? In fact, I think I've seen it up here this morning. Yeah, it's there. Um, I'm going to dish out some soup, um, do the rolls, where did we freeze the rolls? Yeah. I need to get them in hot um, hair fryer and then I'm going to do something with this Wensleydale cheese that we got as well. I'm going to crumble some on to the bread and onto the soup. A bit of cheese onto these salt and pepper baps. Right, get them cooked. And then, yeah, leave them. That's just for the top yeah, of the soup. For the um, top of the soup. The soup's. Oh, um, I've nice. already tested it. Oh, I thought you might. <laughs> um, so that's the, how long did you put them in for yesterday? I put them on a low shelf so they don't burn quick. Put them on 175 for five minutes. Right, the uh, bread is done. I'm going to allow Nick to put the cheese onto the soup. Um, so we've got cheesy, 
salt and pepper baps there. And then... Um, Not much bloody cheese left. You've been nicking it again. No. Why, were you used to the whole thing? No. Oh, was there? Right, there let's enjoy go. this. I do, why, why is, where, where have we had Wensleydale on tomato soup before? And we thought it was weird and now... I don't know. Mm. I've seen Lisa do it on hers. I Lisa should. and Aid, yeah. Right, let's eat this. Not sketches this time. It's these plastic clips, which I need to restore the original colour rather than buy new clips. So I've just cleaned them off with terps and hot water. Now the whole lodge stinks of terps. Yep, and these clips will look like brand new. Only problem with this stuff is it dries in what is seconds. It you're on? It's the stuff that we put on the window when we did the windows. You know, like the bond. Mm -hmm. Only problem is, once you get this on your hands, it, it doesn't come off for weeks. So, don't kick that box for God's sake. Ah, I've just had two gin and tonics from uh, our bigger gin, which uh, Lucas got us at Christmas. It's nice and cosy in the lodge. Doesn't look it on the camera, it's a bit bright, but it's quite, actually quite dark in here. Uh, we're just watching a, uh, a nice fireplace on YouTube drinking my gin, and these things have dried. They actually dry in a few minutes. Um, they've got a bit of a shine on them, but as you can see, they're now perfectly black and painted. And then these little um, fixing clips, they're brand new as well. They've got like a textured black paint on them. So once we fit them and put them into the grated with the normal black, it will fit and there'll be no signs of paint. They were really easy to clean these. These were a bleeding nightmare. You can see there's paint still on the back. But um, I got as much as I can off the front, scratched it off and then just painted it with the stuff. Look at them dirty shoes there. What are you doing? Um, just doing some YouTube comments on our latest video. I'm going to sit down and finish my gin. Okay. Welcome to the next day. Um, so Nick is doing something in the van I'm going to show you. You know what I'm doing? Oh, I forgot the brush. Can you get me a brush? So, first I've of all... I've just sanded all the rust off. Yeah. Um, but there's lots of like pockets of water under the rust lumps. So you can see there when I've completely sanded it down to bare metal, uh, there was still muck under these things and I've sanded all them down. I just need to wipe it and clean it and then what I'm going to do is get some spray paint and just reseal the, uh, the, the bare metal. So you want a br brush? Yeah. The one that not, we used yesterday? Yeah, because if not, it's going to... Well, look at that, it's... Mm. Maybe we're getting this out of the way. That's it. Right, we'll start at this end. If you can hold that like that there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to spray this whilst trying to hold the card against the bumper. Like that. Yeah. And just give it a quick spray. You can spray the cable as well then? No. Well, it doesn't matter about the cable, it's going to be hidden, so... Well, why don't you put it behind the card? Well, it's up to you. So what's that you sprayed it with? Uh, oh wait a minute, I missed a bit. It's um, primer. It'll just seal the paint so rust don't get underneath it. Oh, that stinks. It smells like nail polish from mm -hmm. Put that over there. Right. Looks weird, doesn't it? Grey. Yeah. So, really not much I can do now. Because we can't shut the van doors and we can't put the seal back on. Can't shut the van doors? Well, it's wet paint. Well, we're going out. Whoa. That's what we're going to do now. Wait for it to dry. Mm. Well. Done. You're gonna, what do you mean done? Well, it's not dry though, is it? No, but it will be dry in five minutes. I mean, I can already see here it's dry. Just mm, uh, when the shine's gone. Yeah. It'll be done. Right, we're out and about while that step dries. It's gonna, well, if it dries, there's nothing I'm gonna do more to it today anyway. Um, I'm a couple of clips missing, which weren't on the original bumper, so I'm just gonna have to do, I have to make a makeshift one, I'll see if I can Google what they're called, but they seem to only be sold with the official part, and mine's like a cheap one, so I'm not gonna be able to do it probably. Anyway, it's a day of deliveries. We've just had, or we've just picked up, um, some mats for the cab in Taylor. Now these were only like 14 quid off eBay. 
so I'm not expecting them to be great, but at least I'll have a silhouette to cut my own carpet. Whatever, whatever finish or format we want, at least I'll have something to cut from. Well, fingers crossed I'll be all right. Um, yeah, but the black and I think grey would probably have to do better, but I only really got it just to have something down, because the floors at the minute are quite muddy. Uh, we'll, only put it, we'll only put it down when we're, when we're out and about and we're, we're using Taylor, but for now, it's apart from it slipping, um, it's, um, it's all right as a silhouette. But um, like I said, I can just cut a piece of Flotex if they still do such a thing and get some edging put on it or whatever. We've also got the uh, brackets that lets the table extend turning up today. I got them, um, I, when I, seen, I think I saw them on Amazon for 30 quid. I saw a website that did them for 12 quid plus 4.99 delivery. So I think we've got them for like 18 quid, something like that. For my table. For the table extender, yeah. So that's due today. Uh, we've also got the reel that we said earlier on in this vlog from Amazon Dew, which is for winding up the electric cable. That's due today as well. And then the only thing we've got outstanding then is the waste tap, which has not even been shipped yet. Is it? Well, you only, you only ordered that yesterday. Yeah. So um, things are coming really fast on eBay. It's not like eBay used to be. eBay used to be like, you'd wait a week or two weeks or it'd well, never turn a, up. They've got to compete with Amazon Prime, haven't they? Yeah, well eBay, to be fair, has a lot of the camping and caravan parts that Amazon don't. Like the Max Airs, you can get Max Airs on eBay, but you can't get them on Amazon. There's, there's loads and loads of other unusual parts that you can't find on Amazon, but you can get cheap on eBay. Um, and to be fair, we have bought a lot of stuff off eBay for the van. Um, and when we do our video explaining what the costs are, we will go through a, quite a lot of things. And there's a lot of information that we've that we've collated, including costs that we didn't have to spend, but we chose to spend it because we wanted it looking like, yeah, like top notch. Wrap. We don't have to get it wrapped. Yeah, we don't need it wrapped. We didn't we need the alloys. We didn't have to get the electrical system that we got. We could have got a lot lower spec, um, but we didn't want to cut corners for our first van. Talking like we've got like we're having another one. Um, it was a learning curve and we didn't want to go cheap. So we've not done it the cheapest method and we probably could have cut the cost by 50% if I'm if I'm being honest. And we have wasted some money on things that have gone wrong like 60 quid pair of curtains or whatever they were, which never got used and things like that. But um, yeah, we'll cover that when we do well, the video. Like that, yeah, we didn't want to, we didn't want to, everybody was saying get Victron and yet there's other brands out there that are right, the, the second leading brand and we just went for the best. Um, I'm sure cheaper brands will work just as good, but we decided just, we just wanted to go what, what people were recommending. So we're now on our way to Dunham Mills to see whether we can get a throw for the bed in the van that has all the colours in of the kitchen unit and maybe some whites and the blind colour. So we saw one in um, Bedrock, was it, the other day? I can't remember what it was. Which called. was like a very, very... We it was like a green... Yeah, it was like a greeny cream it's hard to hard to explain but it was 80 quid and it only only had it in a double we don't want to spend anywhere near that for something that's just really going to be for show so uh, we've already got the bedding for for the van it's like hotel bedding we got it from amazon which is currently stuffed in a bag in there but the bed's not made so it's just going to be white so we need something to put on there so i'm hoping we can get something from dunelm, dunelm. see whether they have something similar we'll just have a look to see what they've got Right, we're just looking for either a throw or another bed cover that isn't white, that just has a little bit of something in it, just to give it... But I'm, we'll use the white one in the lodge if need be, um, but we've not found anything as yet. No, mm, I like can't that. find anything I like. That's very van-like, but very oh, not, yeah. but very not, not our van. No. no, I can't find anything here. Yeah, what about Bambi? Bambi? Bambi and deers and no, stuff. No, no, no. So, the throws they have here are just like they're they're right there. We do have like a cushion similar to this, the one that says like um, the colour. It matches the cupboard, exact. Yeah, that says, um, what does it say on it? Pack, um, home is where you pack it. So we could do with the throw that matches that cushion because that's going to be going out. But um, Nothing here. looks like this well, has been a wasted the, trip. The throws are like toweling yeah. dog blankets. They're not. No, not what we want. It. Nick's found this, but I'm not sure. It's got all the van colours, it's got the blinds, it's got the cupboards, it's got the whites. It's not what I was thinking, I was thinking more, not that particular thing, but more, you wanted more, country. more van life country. countries there, look. Yeah, but that wouldn't match. 36 quid. This one? Super soft blanket. 
The thing is, you want that, but that don't. No, no, I don't, I don't want that. that. I mean, go with the, the design in the van, no, and it would fit nice on the bed. Then. Somebody said there's some upstairs as well. Let's go and have a look. Well, okay. I think that would end up being returned if you bought that, but you never know. Mm. Yeah, but we've listened to you, haven't we? With pink curtains. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Mm, yeah, not the kind of throws we want up, up, up his stairs, like you said. Hmm. That's mm. where we came from downstairs. Oh, yeah. I don't, oh, maybe, I don't that, mind that one. Maybe the herring barn one. That's the same one, isn't it? Ooh, ooh. Same one. Well, yeah. We've actually both gone for something and said, oh, we might like that. Oh, now I'm, now I'm <laughs> torn. Because that's got... I don't like this... I didn't know, but I thought you liked tealy, that. Like you're having your, tealy, like your palms red. You said the other day you wanted something like that. I know, but it, does that fit with the van? Style? Mm. What about that? Well, that's got it on as well. No, and that's just cream, it's plain. Oh god, it's not going to be thorough gate now, is it? After curtain oh, gate. I bet it will. It will be. You can't... Do we need large? Because that's more than... No, you probably don't need large. What well, it's only that 14 quid. If it doesn't fit, we can bring it back. 130 by 180, that won't even go the width of the bed. Mm. We found one that will randomly open. What do you think? I don't know. It's filthy. It's been on floor. It's filthy? Yeah, on back it is. It's, it's got that like nice neutral colour that I like, it's definitely. Got that, um, <laughs> if you're not step and what? it's a bit chilly, you know, when you can kind of well, yeah, 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 type yeah. thing. Beautiful. But it's not for bedding, it's no, just No, no, no. Just for a throw. You think medium then? Yeah. Right, we're gonna go with this one. <laughs> I can see what's gonna happen here. Me too. <laughs> I know what'll happen, we'll put it on the bed and we'll go, don't like it, and then we'll come straight back. We'll have a bargain and it went through at £12 yep. instead of £14, so it must be an offer or something. I got these because when we were throwing pillows away the other day, we have two pillars in the lodge that don't have pillowcases, so yep. we just got them just to case them. Want some lunch, we might try a Subway, just get a salad or something. Is that sure? Oh, well, I can see some empty seats in Subway, get a salad. I love this new um, Subway that they've got at Subway. Uh, the sub, should I say, that they've got at Subway. Pesto Paradiso chicken with pesto and loads of salad and stuff. What are you going for? I went for the Big Bombay. Big Bombay. And I also got mango um, sauce and mm. spicy jalapeno. Oh my god, it's nice. spicy. Jesus. Just called into a garden centre because we keep saying we want to put some daffodils in garden so they can flower each year. Right, so these are the ones that just. Ooh. Ooh, shit. These are the ones that are just about to. developing. So, five for got, a ten. each got bulbs, so they should flower this year. I'll let you dig them in this you afternoon. Can bring off, if you want them, you're digging <laughs> holes. Um, what about there's loads down here that's obviously already budded, uh, flowered, should I say? Do we need any that's already flowering, or should we just? No, because the, the flowers will just die off. And uh, the shock, to, like shock of putting them in the soil, will yeah. cause the flowers to die off. Right, we'll Do just not, go with these. These will be all right. But do we need any more soil? No. Have we got a hand trowel? Yes. Back at the lodge. So this is the um, tailored mats for Taylor. Yes, in the front of the cab. Now, I'm just going to scotch guard because yeah. I know what it's going to be like. The slightest bit of um, muck, mud. Yeah, and it's going to basically mask would have been it, better with, with it being black. No, it would have been better with grey. They don't have black. Grey, I tried. Better than I suppose. Uh, and then we're going to go and see what this looks like in the van and then I'm going to start digging some holes to plant these uh, daffodils. So this turned up which we saw in the camping shop, was it yesterday we went? Uh, yeah we ordered it straight away didn't we? And same thing but two quid cheaper or three quid cheaper, I can't remember it was. And also we had this turn up and for some strange reason I only ordered one. So I need another one. But this is how it works. So that goes onto the underside of the table. Imagine the table's in the van and it's upside down. That goes onto the table. This goes onto here. So that will be kind of like in this position here. And then you, um, when that's fixed, you slide that in there and it locks into position and that holds the tabletop. Yep, so At least that's in theory. So that's for the table in the van. It'll just give us an extension yeah. for when we need it. The only concern that I've got is how far you put it. Do you know what I mean? Do you put it up to the edge, like that, so it goes through and it locks into place, or what? We'll find out when the other one comes. Yeah. Right, let's go do stuff. Go right. on. I'm just going to put them all in the front garden. What we'll do? So I'm going to put 
Do you think three two, here? No, two, two there. Two here, right, one here. And then another one there, maybe, over there. How big are they? Get me one out. So um, they're not massive, but you're going to have to dig it down. They've got, yeah, no. they've got to root. I might be taking over at this rate, because you you're not going not. anywhere. I'm just getting the top layer off, that's all. It's much better when it's dry, that's for sure. Only problem with these gardens, they're full of bricks yeah, and stones. You can see them all in there, look, yeah. Lots of shite. I can hear it hitting. It is. is that a glass bottle? Uh, I don't know. I think it was landfilled with, like, just crap. So you've got to go down at least that deep. Well, not that far off now. No, you're not. You've got to, the roots have got to establish, remember. That's literally a boulder. I know, it's just freaking come out of there. No, no, that's not deep enough for that. No, not deep enough. No, no, well no, no. Deep. Yeah, but you need to create space around it. You've got to allow the plant time to breathe. It can't be surrounded in clay. There's more red bricks in there, look, yeah. Right, I'm back inside while he's digging holes. Right, that's Scotch Garden. They need to settle as well because they're a bit crimpled. I'm going to go and put this in the van and see what it looks like. And I'm also going to wind the, um, the cassette up onto this and hope the 25 meter cassette actually fits. So let's go. Uh, yes. Alright, let's get it back down. Don't put too much, don't pack it in too much, just break, break that big chunk up and then use that to kind of landfill around it. Just scoop all this and that's it. Look at this one. That's the it's rabbit. Today. Well, you know what you need to do? You need to put coffee grinds around it. When we were in Surba the other day, there was a sign saying um, customers can have free coffee granules and apparently it puts rabbits off so you sprinkle them around the plant so when in the morning when you're chucking your coffee crap away bring it out and chuck it on that plant and it'll keep the rabbits away there we go that's the first one in right another one here i think and then probably 30 centimeters apart yeah well, that's 30 centimeters yeah. one there and then maybe there. yeah another one there this and one. then maybe one here yeah because these won't grow when they're growing, do you know what I mean? Right. And maybe one in there as well, because this here doesn't flower until August for some strange reason. Is it there? Yes. Right, while he's fanning around with that, I'm going to get this unpacked and just kind of arrange it on the bed, see how it looks. There we go. Perfect, I think. Perfect. So we have this cushion inside, which our friend Susan bought us, which will, it's got the, the same colours as this, the same colours as this, and then the pillars in normal mode will be that way just to like create a, like a bed head and then um, this will just kind of go on the on the bed long ways just to, to, to break up that white plainness but I'll, I like that that definitely goes in here what do you think perfect it matches do doesn't think? it yeah I'm not sure about the tassels no, but I quite like them. It gives you can the, fold them under if you no, have I to quite like them. it gives it that little van lifey feel that, to it. yeah it's not too frilly no, I like it and it matches everything it matches all the color yeah. of the blinds the whites the, the the tones the woods and things like that perfect Right, that worked nice and tightly inside it. Um, the cable's actually starting to, um, because it's been out for such a long time, it's actually starting to weather, lose some of its colour, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. But there we go, that's wrapped up. I'm going to put that away and stow it in the garage. Right, daffies are in. So, one there, one there, uh, two there, and one there. And it says these ones are late blooming, so they're going to early summer, so hopefully. We might get to see them this year, we'll just have to see how they go. Right, the plants are in, the van's locked up. Um, I'm now trying to work out the conundrum with the toilet in lifting it up two centimetres. And I really don't know what to do because if we put some, um, some white stoppers underneath, the weight's not distributed across the entire rim area and too much weight and it will pop the stoppers, pop the stoppers through into the poop, poop pouch. So we don't want to do that. So my cousin reckons he's got some um, white pvc foam that we can create a silhouette of the toilet short of the back and then lift it up a little bit i've never seen this stuff before so he's going to find a piece when he gets home take a picture of it and see whether that's going to do uh, but it needs to come up two centimeters so it's level with a tray so the back and the toilet can sit onto the uh the back trim it's not an issue if it doesn't it just means we've got less room to do the stuff anyway uh, lee's just doing some ironing just over there Nick's on with the next project. I'm now looking at um, Lee's request to convert the bedroom into an office. Now, we said in the past that I would like to have done one of those integrated um, bunk beds that look like the part of the lodge rather than slotting furniture. Um, but the other night, we were kind of discussing how we can rearrange the room, if at all, and I've come up with a potential solution. I've got it on Adobe Illustrator, so you can see there, if these are where the windows are, and the, the beds are currently facing that way and the doors here if we rearrange it so the two single beds are on that wall 
and we put the wardrobe which is here down here and put a 114 centimeter desk there with a seat it's whether it'll be too cramped I mean the seat won't always be there it'll be under the desk when it's not in use so there'll be plenty of room to walk here um, and then the, the the headboards will move from the wall here to the wall here so that potentially could work but we're not going to do it now we're going to wait for a day when we've not got so much on at the minute and that bedroom's a complete pigsty so we'd have to empty the entire bedroom out move everything turn the room around and then move it back we're not going to do that today because well basically we've got too much going on so no chance absolutely no chance we'll do that when the van's done and all the furniture and all the tools and all the bits and bats that are in that room are out yeah, on the, the only problem is you know that i've thought of what? no room for your treadmill no i'd have to just i'd have to just put it down inside of my bed when i want to use it what permanently it's out of your no, bed it folds up doesn't it Right, just had a rethink. So the bed's right now. The room is 310 by 310. It's exactly the same dimensions. It's just everything rotated. The only thing that's different is the windows. So in effect, the way that the room is configured now is the way that it would be configured if we um, did this thing. And it would mean the wardrobe moving closer to the door here that's and then fair. a desk in the side. So if we moved, the so the thing is there's a radiator on this wall mm -hmm. here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this bed would only be able to go as far as the radiator. Yeah. But they do stand off the wall as it is now against this wall up here and down here and then there'd be room for his treadmill in the middle which is what he's got now it's an exact replica now just turned sideways but this wardrobe here is currently here facing this way so and we can't put the desk there and stop and, and avoid doing it because again there's a radiator and then there's a tv above it as well third night in a row it's lasted oh. all this um Soup, which Nick made. And a gin for you? What are you putting on? Oh no, don't put them on. No, 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 no. Oh, just a little bit. That'll do. Do you know what? Just a little bit. Right, we've finally finished the remainder of the tomato soup. That's been six portions with what we made the other day, and it's lasted three nights. And we've had the same salt and pepper bread with cheese on each night, and it's been absolutely gorgeous. We've even said tomorrow we might even may even go and get the ingredients to make a tomato a roasted tomato and red pepper um soup. And then have that for another three nights. Mm, it's been nice. I've enjoyed it. It's been great for like um, easiness. For easiness, not being stuffed on like bulky food. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously it's kind of liquid. Um, but it's been really nice, hasn't it? Fresh soup made with fresh ingredients. Fresh soup. Fresh soup. Yes. So, just in case you didn't see our uh, YouTube video short a few weeks ago well by now you will have you'll already know, you'll already know because it was just to say that um today we did the youtube short explaining it which was a few weeks ago which you'll have seen it um ignore it's fine. um it we all have to as well we um have got we're changing now, our schedule yeah we're gonna have three days a week you'll know this obviously by now because we're already on three days a week. yeah but there'll be somebody that, that doesn't <laughs> know that that's not on socials or that hasn't seen the show on youtube but we've decided we're dropping mondays because Which, it's a lot easier it's going to be the same amount of time that we film but it'll be crossed. it'll be crammed into three vlogs and each vlog will be about 20 percent longer than the previous vlog so it's the same number of airtime the reason why is because it's a lot easier to edit three rather vlogs than rather than four yeah. because if you do a separate vlog it's not just a case of dividing it up and people think oh well there's less to edit it's not a case of that you've got to do coming up scenes you've got to scan it twice for music it has to go to the people that watch it for proofreading or thumbnail. proof watching thumbnail for each one um scheduling, scheduling it. it for early link people yeah there's so a lot, it, there's a lot the majority of that takes longer than the actual editing yes so there's a lot around one video then backing it up twice, backing it up to a cloud drive. So just... And because we're going to be going on the road, yeah, we don't want to be spend all the time in the van doing all the admin work for it. We and want to get as much content out. We're not sure what the internet's going to be like for all these backups. And yeah, stuff. so it may be like a regular visit to Starbucks or at least make a, well, a map of that. places to go that's got really good Wi-Fi. Yeah. So that's why we're doing <clears> down to three days a week. Um, so, you know, we're still here and uh, you'll so still see us. And you can follow us on Instagram if you like. We've got two Facebook groups, an uh, Orlando one and a normal Lodge Guys one. We've got a Facebook page. Yep. And um, So just going back to what Lee was saying, so our average um, video length is 37 minutes. The new average length will be around 49 minutes. So it'll be about another 12 minutes per, per vlog. 
So it's the same footage, just divided into the three vlogs. Yeah. Some people prefer longer vlogs, some people don't. If the ones that don't, just then just watch it over two nights. Simple as that, and you can watch it at, at your pleasure. But um, it'll be Sunday night, Wednesday, and Friday, so it's it's evenly spread out the week. It's about time we, we tried that. I'm not doing it. I'm for real. Well, obviously I figured you... I'm putting it in one end. It's coming out of there. We'll be so, trying it soon before long. We have this down, I, mean, I think I explained it earlier. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. It fits in the cubicle with your knees up like that. Yeah. But you've got to... Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll you're be just going to have to open the door, put your feet out. You'll have to just turn away while you just rock and do like that. And then shut the door. On that note, would you like to finish the vlog? Why have you got a red mark on your nose? Because I did that. Um, I did some charcoal um, skin peeling last night and it literally took the skin off my nose. So if you are new to our channel, guys, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell, scan the QR code that's on the screen now. And we'll see you on the next one.